Good morning, traders. Coming into the first part of the APAC session, we saw the US dollar was offered uh, in their session, their Tuesday session. Uh, the dollar index printing a low around 102.60 there. Uh, ahead of the last major economic release for the year in Friday's core PCE reading, uh, some hawkish leaning comments from uh, the Fed's Bostic that he only sees two rate cuts in 2024, less than the Fed median of three and, and, and much less than the Markets pricing in of six are uh, failing to lend much support for the greenback. Uh, Japanese yen was the obvious underperformer. Uh, they saw dollar yen hit it higher around 144.95, just failing to breach that psychological 145 level before retracing somewhat. Uh, the yen took a real hit on the uh, Bank of Japan meeting where the central bank, bank stood pat and unanimously left the rates and YCC unchanged. Uh, there was some pricing into this pair of, of a hawkish surprise from the Bank of Japan. So the reaction to the dollar yen, pens, uh, dollar yen pair is not surprising considering uh, the Aussie dollar um, and the Kiwi dollar were the G10 outperformers. Uh, Aussie US benefiting of, obviously from uh, the improved risk sentiment and also from the RBA minutes from their de December meeting, which suggested the board was actually considering a, a 25 basis point hike when they actually held steady at that meeting. Uh, Kiwi dollar also catching um, a bit of support from some positive trade data out of New Zealand. Uh, Canadian dollar strengthened. There was a hotter than expected inflation reading there. Uh, the year on year figure came out at 3.4, which is a beat of the expected 3.3. Uh, Canadian dollar also receiving uh, some support from a, a rally in oil prices on that Red Sea tension, uh, causing some issues with oil transportation there.